Okay guys, here I am uh, today with Harbor Freight's uh, double action uh, suction feed airbrush. Uh, there is a boatload of bad reviews out there concerning this airbrush, um, but I'm here to tell you that, you know, this airbrush isn't all bad. Uh, if you know how to handle an airbrush, you know how to clean an airbrush, uh, you can get results from this airbrush. In fact, one of the reasons why I'm making this video is basically to show uh, those of you out there who are, you know, uh, curious about airbrushing and may want to try airbrushing, that you don't have to spend $200 on an airbrush to get results. So, uh, this basically what I'm going to do is, uh, I guess I'm just going to airbrush a skull here right now, uh, just to show you that... Uh, you know the airbrush works uh, you can get some pretty decent detail out of it uh, if you've reduced your paint correctly uh, the flow is decent uh, the atomization is decent in fact uh, to be 100% honest with you I I own uh, two Badger 150s that uh, I haven't used in probably years but um, I would much rather use uh, the Harbor Freight's uh, double action uh, suction feed airbrush than the, uh, the Badger 150s that I have. Um, of course that's just preference. The only, the only beef I have with, real beef I have with this airbrush are the seals. Uh, the seals in the head of this airbrush should be uh, solvent resistant and they're not. So, but anyways, let's uh, Let's get started, man. Let's see what I can do with this airbrush. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see this. I'm actually very impressed with this airbrush. I mean, for 20 bucks. Spray's pretty decent, I tell ya.
God damn. The one thing about a, a, the cups on these suction feed airbrushes, if you're not used to them, you're going to end up doing something like that. And that's uh, on any suction feed airbrush with the, uh, the cup extension or the cup reservoir. Um, as you can see, I mean, this, this airbrush isn't half bad. I uh, spent a few minutes on this. I did this real quick. Um, but, I mean, I got some tight dagger strokes in here in, in the eyes. Uh, some shading. Uh, some fine line, you know, cracks in the eye sockets. Um, and then just some... Uh, you know other things here uh, other fine line work um, but as you can see I mean <laughs> if I wanted to if I wanted to spend an hour on this with that airbrush I could paint a killer skull uh, so you know my point is this uh, if, if you want to get involved in, in airbrushing and you know, you don't want to spend $150, $200 on an airbrush. Uh, just try this out. Uh, pick up Harbor Freight's $20 airbrush, man. You can't go wrong. Um, and just make sure that you clean it thoroughly after each use. Uh, even somebody that's already been involved uh, with airbrushing for some time. Uh, these are a good beater brush. Uh, I said 20 bucks you can't go wrong so I uh, you know I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make another video here um, we're gonna go through some uh, you know practice exercises with this airbrush uh, you know and do some dagger strokes some uh, some bar bills some shading uh, let's put this this airbrush to the test but uh, as you can see you know, it's, it works pretty decent. Uh, flows perfectly. It, 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 there's not one spot on this painting that uh, that is sputtered, uh, so the flow is consistent. Uh, and just it, overall, it worked pretty decent. It's a decent airbrush.